Right now you tuned in with Lunch Break Sessions and I'm going to give y'all in-studio footage and an interview today with my boy. It's B. Lou right here. I got a feature cooking up for my boy. I was flat broke in the trenches. I had no choice but to get it. Got tired of being broken. I have it. I had no choice but to get 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 it. I was flat broke. I used to be broke riding around with this shit. Freestyling cars. Straight up. A whole lot of new shit on the way. Just know that. Visual. New visuals, all that. new life, new all this shit. Oh, that's right. See, niggas worry about their rap life and not their real life. So then they come back to reality. We in real life. We ain't nothing from real life for rap life. We ain't living for that social media to it, ain't it? Nah, it ain't social media. It's real life. Niggas oh, go man. outside and be numb to their problems. And shit, social media. Don't you think social media nah. played a part of that? Nah, bro. As far as to what? It's people who faking their happiness. The good vibe crew. Playing good vibes. People made it to a point where you can't have a bad vibe and nobody fuck with you if you do. So if it's like that, then at the same time, when everybody team good vibes, playing good vibes, how can I be like happy, unhappy for real? <coughs> like I gotta fake my happiness for folks to fuck with me. <coughs> so for you to have three friends, you gotta be happy every day. So what about that one day you ain't happy? I'm the one of them fuck with you. So how many fake friends you got that was started off for folks? That's some deep shit. You feel me? Everybody fuck with you doing mm -hmm. your happiness. Who fuck with you doing your damn time? Nobody fuck with each other. Unless there's money involved. Drinking, smoking. You pretty much fuck with everybody. Same like yeah. before your body at work. I saying, you yeah, you know, but over time, as your life progresses, everybody don't fuck with you. Because mm -hmm. you start seeing them, they get stagnant in their life. People don't, people value money and us, what's their fame? <laughs> Niggas value money and fame. Yeah. I don't know what niggas in Dallas think fame is. I mean, fame don't exist here, bro. We all know each other. If not somebody, somebody that talk too much to tell your old life story. Your old life story. Whether it's new or old, it'll tell soon. Niggas like digging through them crates, you hear me? At the end of the day, we using this, you know, as far as that's the main plan, using this rap yeah, for a platform to move music forward. Music is a platform just to, like, Man, just to explore different parts of life, my nigga. I don't want music to ever be the thing that I make a little nigga go shoot somebody. I don't want a lot of him to say, don't have nothing in life but watching me have some. Like wreck him out type shit, like I'm crashing him out. That's a crash I want dummy the, shit. Yeah, I want the little young nigga to crash out while I be successful. Like it's niggas out here with $100,000 teeth did and they man with news did, but they on videos telling other people to be retorted and act crazy. And it ain't just black people who falling for it, it's all races. People just be worried about they one part of where they live in. They don't be seeing what's going on in other people's neighborhoods and so, how they live. So what's one way you think to enlighten no mind to getting them to see? Shit, you? just letting people watch you grow. From having videos with guns in them to not having that shit in them to actually getting choreography done. Right. Instead of having all that in them, incorporating other people. So Incorporate people, find people that have their souls still. Some people don't have their souls. Some people let their past uh, misfortunes kill their soul off. So with that being said, with the visual you just said, not having more guns, so what's far with your future visuals, you know, don't you think you can add more a creative content to, yeah, just, to add, yeah. like, to put, you know, It's like this, in Dallas, to, in Dallas to me, music is growing, but niggas don't want to see it as, if, not even niggas, people, period, don't want to see it as a growing market or something. Yeah, I mean, we smoking big dope and all that. We're in California right now, we getting high. I know that's, that's right. what you do. Having a session at lunch. Straight up. Yeah, man, you know, my boy came to Cali and we down here just kicking. And that's how we do it. Got my boy B-Lu live in the building. <laughs> that way, the only way. We just here, man. You know what I'm saying? This with Texas, you, you dig? We invading Cali and we taking over right now. And you got the lunch break right now. We tuned in. We going everywhere with this shit. We might pop up in Atlanta. And you don't never know. It might no, be the other shit. The A3C coming that's coming coming up. It's coming up, man. You know it's time saying? for people so, just to start growing and making stuff happen, man. Are we going to see you out there in the A? Yeah, man. I'm going to be wherever you need me to be. Wherever man, you need me to we be. We working, bro. We trying to put it How together. How you don't want to be successful, but you're only in one place you want to be? That's why niggas be stuck. 
and get mad because dude actually I grow them. Mm -hmm. it, the man who get uncomfortable is the man who win, my nigga. Anybody, I've been just chilling 30 years. They ain't say a lot of why you behave. Just stuck. Just chilling. Doing the same shit. Niggas content with that little life, my nigga. Little light, I guess. So how you feel like getting out of that complacency as a person or as an artist? Shit, just being real with yourself. Instead of talking about everybody else's problems, talk about your own man in the mirror type shit. What you know, you got to go through. I don't you know. care how much money you got, bro. Ain't no happiness in material. Ooh. And if you believe in material with none of that other shit that come with it, you will not live a prosperous life. You'll have material, but you'll die and leave your soul, my nigga. There's some niggas riding around with rapes. And they hollow on the inside. No heart, no heart for nobody. And I know a nigga in a pinto that'll pull up and give you a ride. <laughs> nah, for real. Hey, shit. Nowadays, nigga want to hang with the rich nigga but kill his bro his bro brother. brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just to be with for real. Me. Suppress, suppressing each other. It used to be the suppress getting pressed by suppressors. Now it's the suppress, suppressing each other <coughs> on a daily basis. <coughs> It'll be a nigga and a nigga fighting, a white boy and a white boy fighting, a Mexican and a Mexican fighting. Mm -hmm. But we all three have our own thing to say. These different races hate each other. That's what rappers don't talk about. They don't talk about reality. Most of these dudes just rapping, bro. They just getting lit out the house. And that's the truth. They just drop the songs and videos and places they ain't see just growing to what it is now. That's true. I remember days you couldn't go in other people's neighborhoods, bro, you get your ass killed. Mm -hmm. Whether you gang bang or didn't, if you was from that neighborhood, you was with that so shit. So then what, I mean, because now we live in a world where it's saying like everything just accepted, like. It is, bro. You know it's what I'm that's because the real died it really off. Ain't no, the real died off. It seems like it ain't no either boundaries to, to prison, anything no more. Either you went to prison for murder or you got killed for some petty or a big crime or either shit, life just killed you off. Just watching people with. Cirrhosis of the liver, nigga. Family members dying from drinking too much. The same shit we call a turn up in the hood is too much turn ups. Mm -hmm. Everybody got a government assisted check coming in, so it's like, shit, everybody just drinking and chilling all day. And it's hard to get out of there when you see everybody in your region, your area just your loaded. Your so in your environment, most people are product of it because people are not getting them out. And when they do get them out, they keep them mentally with them. Like, I can take you out of damage, but if I brain fuck you enough, you'll think for me. You'll think how I think for you. You won't go to Cali with me with your own reason for being there. You'll follow me to all my reasons. Whether it's motherfucking this chicken and waffles, whether it's motherfucking beach, whether it's there, you won't go for your own personal reason. Whether you're in Atlanta, you won't go for your own reason. Whether you're in Dallas, you won't go for your own reason. It don't matter where you at, bro. If you ain't got your own mind, you somebody else person. Facts. Real shit. I'm not finna sit here and tell him don't incorporate himself in the interview. Most people is dumb, bro. They get help from you and won't even incorporate you back like you helped them. Texas as a whole don't understand co-marketing. Co-marketing is when you get another person's brand and y'all market each other on y'all different outlets. So most bro. people don't do that. Most people don't realize when you go get all these big name artists. And I'm not going to say one in particular, just anyone. And you get pictures with them and you post them on your page. You're giving them co-marketing for your following. And nine times out of ten, those artists know that and they don't give it back to you yeah, because you're not on their same level. Yeah, they ain't going to post nothing back just because, you, know, you know what I mean? Most people see you hot in your region because they understand regions with radio and they understand marketing, market control. When you understand market control, that's when you know, I got to go over here and deal with these people. Not saying I'm a sign, I'm a fuck with them. I got to deal with them. Mm -hmm. I got to get in incorporated with what they doing, whether it's just a song with them, a picture with them. Now it lets you know that I'm not a rapper hater. Not a rapper hater. And at the same time, you still get to see me with the new act, as if this the one who bring them out. Everybody, if, if I bring B. Lou out, and that's what people going to remember, me bringing him out. That's what they gonna remember, he will too. Versus me saying, nigga, we call marketing each other because you dope and you move. Mm -hmm. Most dudes broke. So when you broke, you kinda gotta deal with whoever and you gotta bite your tongue on shit. I don't need niggas, bro. I ain't ever big. And when I was, they ain't help. I had to learn that, bro. So ain't no damn help out here. So then branding yourself big, then, don't you think? Yeah, branding. No. That's so the biggest part. 
And not just branding, keeping healthy relationships with people. Not thinking you have growing people. Some niggas get them likes on the internet confused with their reality. Ain't no way in hell a nigga who got all his own shit gonna chase a nigga down who ain't got shit but some likes. I've been that nigga before. So, back. But I know when people, people, people can't realize who they is because they don't look in the mirror. I have. In order to become somebody new, you gotta realize who you have been. I've been the nigga that was worried about the likes and people fucking with me versus the nigga who just get the money out of it. Fucking thing put you on the list. Yeah. Get the money. I had to learn the money. The money or the likes. It's either one. You don't get both. Nine times out of ten, the niggas who got all the likes don't like the nigga who got the money for real. That's why I was like, I don't know why people value material, because when you get out of this shit, you have to open your eyes up on people you think fuck with you, but they really don't. And if you have it for a long period of time, it exposes you to your truths and other people. I just seen niggas have some money for two or three days, that's cool. Have it for two or three years, and you get to see people in the way they change. Well, cause a lot of people ain't used to having that, though. Nah, they ain't used to nothing. People ain't used to shit. And that's why they act the way they act, and they do got the brush. Yeah, but no, indeed. Man. No, don't act like that. Too many years, fam. Too many years. Come I remember my nigga, my nigga was sleeping on the couch, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Why y'all playing, bro? They had songs in the club. And I songs in the club, nigga, sleeping on the couch, nigga. I never when had I came, it on When the I nigga. came over there, nigga, when I used to come over there, nigga, I moved my up. feedback, and then my nigga sit down while I laid there. I wasn't finna get up for my cup, bro. Nigga, I'm tired. I didn't know. Don't have I didn't have jobs bro. before, bro. I done done a lot of shit to survive, bro. I still will. Niggas get mad shit. because they can't live and be a man. They caught up in the image and what another person think of them. Bro, I ain't living for people and they per, like what they think of me. If I ain't doing wrong and causing nobody no harm, I'm gonna be my goddamn self. If you don't like it, fuck you. Cause nine times out of ten, people stepping out on the limb and being somebody else expensive. Say that again, man. For real, the people selling their souls for other people's shit. So then, like, it's for individuality, because you saying you got your individual, you know yeah, yourself. Yeah, me, you shit. know, you are a little bit I had to dope. learn, nigga, don't let people tell me to be humble. To be humble is to down yourself to bring others up. So telling that to the next viewer if who, you not, if who, you don't, who don't have their mind right or who just working, following. If you're not working hard, my nigga, you ain't feel, you're supposed to have none, and you will feel the wrath of the man who works hard. Mm -hmm. Not finna hide the fact that I bust my ass to be this person. Cause you not busting your ass to be shit, but how I hate them. Mm -hmm. Nigga know every site and what you did and said on each one by one, but ain't got ten dollars. And when they do, they spend their last on some weed. Mm -hmm. Niggas ain't even smart enough to try to make no money. The niggas gonna spend their last smoking, and then they pass on this badass message to little kids. The world little kids buying their last ten dollars for weed. Mamas and grannies don't even get lunch money no more because they think the kid gonna buy weed with it. Yep. Oh, facts. That's real, that's For real talk. That's fucked up. Without that's fucked up. Head, you get know? you home telling your, your son don't sell drugs, but he go to school and that pep rally is somebody performing for him a drug dealer or something. Yeah. I even had to learn that. Yeah. If I'm gonna do it, I gotta have a song for them that they relate to. Well, ain't that word like the, I guess. That's why I ain't gonna play the, with the, myself. That's what you got. That's you why know. man in the mirror come in and say, man, I ain't finna go up here and a lot of these kids. I need to get myself right. I ain't ready yet, Miss Layton. Go start a business. Get something professional going. Can't go to school, bro. Anybody that's young, I've been young, I'm from the projects. I got to see all the top niggas that all these people wanna be doing with my own eyes, fam. Shiny shit make anybody be intrigued, bro. That's anybody. I don't care who it is. So it's like you gotta tell them the truth, man. A lot of crying and tears come with this. Mm -hmm. Only thing niggas speak of is winnings. They don't speak of losses. Losses ain't a bad thing, cause if you can enlighten somebody else on some shit they probably trying to do before they do it, mm -hmm. you're saving the life. But I'm looking like saying, floss, floss, ball, ball, ball. Jail, sell, hell, tail, kill, kill. scale, be a partner, chopper, change, brain, the range, range, roll, all that shit. They better tell you everything. Letters, none in the mail. 
uh, Facebook posts. The goods and the bad. Yeah, niggas just speaking good shit. Good, good, good. Trap out making money, 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 make a million, 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 million. We my niggas. I'm saying niggas are not right. But you right? think the reason why they do that because they feel like that's they not lie. accepted? They lying. It's not because they're accepted. It's because they forgot who they is for money. Right now, how the hell I'm gonna charge another person just like me for a feature? Either you doing bad or you just a hard ass nigga. Just simple as that. So niggas ain't like doing me. that. Nobody ain't doing that. So if you ain't, it's like, why are you gonna try to press this other nigga who just like you? I done got paid for shows. Niggas forget who I am because I don't act like that, bro. I done got paid for features. Niggas forget that because I don't walk around with this shit. Niggas making the fun go out of music. Bro, all us ain't doing this shit for the paper. We doing it for the, to make money, but we love music, fam. I'm telling you, love music. Since man. you was a kid, have you ever been told, shut up, don't say that, put it down? Nigga, this the one time you can do it. This the, all your life, freedom of speech is one of your amendments. The rights can't be taken away, bro. But your people will even take it away. Stay in the house. Yeah, that's, that's the, I guess that's the void we have, because... Even though that is the first amendment, it seemed like it's the last thing people let you do. And that's crazy. No individuality. To keep some real niggas on your team, you gotta act like them. But then you got guys like you who really stand on how you stand. I don't fuck with them. Yeah. I stand my own line, no hate. So, bro, you sparking those minds to, to those you. young dudes who watching this video yeah. who wanna be like you or just, I wanna. That's the thing, you don't be thing. like nobody, be like yourself. Hey. Everybody, everybody that's don't, smart, but they don't, don't you, tell but everybody you gets inspired by somebody. You gotta be inspired, but you also gotta remember I'm gonna take that, but I can make it better. There you go. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, now, uh, nobody in their right mind wanna see you do less than them, fam. Do better than me. By my age, you should already have shit going. They're not getting it going to where it's not hate involved in it, and it's gonna stop. A bunch of niggas right now got niggas with them that all they gotta do is stop liking them and they whole operation over. That ain't really how it should be. It's how it is. Think. People ain't enlightened nobody. They out here taking people money on all type of levels with this rap shit. It's like everybody with each other but the artists. We the only people. Bro, people, everybody needs the artists. If it ain't no artists, who gonna rap on your beat? So who gonna put out a song? Who the DJ gonna get played? Okay, you gonna go out and get all them big name artists. They ain't gonna pay you for a service. Only people here... This artist is gonna pay a DJ for a slot. He gonna pay him for to talk on his mixtape, to um, DJ on his mixtape, and to upload it on sites. And nobody else gonna do that. You think Future gonna call the Dallas and say, "Hey DJ, I need you to put this on the site for me." No, he not, bro. If they do, he gonna go to the radio. You feel like some people with the talent are kind of. They lost. It enables them because it's like yeah, because they don't know they business, like and they or either they don't got hustle. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, you got to sing rap to be on. Everybody don't sing rap. To me, you sing rap, you went to church growing up. I didn't grow up in the church. I grew up chunking rocks at people. I grew up riding bikes on the monkey balls playing throwback tackle. Clothesline shopping. <laughs> Clothesline shopping. Get your clothes and go write motherfucking football numbers on them and start hood football teams. Yeah. Click fights. Basketball court. We grew up by the pissy slide. I grew up in the projects. I don't know about how people live in them. I grew up in East Dallas projects, not the new shit, the old shit before all these new people came and watered down all the shit, bro. Niggas ain't doing nothing in the hood to help the hood. They taking away from the hood, not giving them back. And when they is giving it back, they exploiting their own people. And the ones who doing it from the heart look like you doing it in vain because don't nobody know. So it's easy to call you a hoe versus the nigga who show you everything he do. So you feel like you should keep going? Because, I mean, you know... Hell yeah, you got to keep going, you know bro. You got, I mean, so I, know, life, I know you have to, but... In life, bro, it ain't about what people know. It's what God knows. Whether we believe in the same God or not, it's God, man. Mm -hmm. And it ain't what a man know. Man only can give you praise on earth. God give you praise in heaven and forever. And a man pray stop when you stop giving him whatever he wanted from you, the majority of the time. Niggas ain't walking around saying who else jammed. Like Boots say, I bump they shit, I holler. 
Nigga bump my shit when we holler. Nigga bump my shit when we holler. Nigga bump my shit when we holler. Word for word, won't say shit to you when he see you. Pull up in your, pull up in that hood saying this nigga go hard. So how you, bro? I'm just saying, like, it's a, it's a cycle, man, you know, obviously. It's a cycle of that shit, then you got niggas like us. I don't mind supporting, bro. He sent me a song last night, featured done five minutes in his face. That's Most cool. niggas ain't even smart enough to come get that feature. They want you to work for them. Nigga, I put in work for myself. Then when you a parent, my nigga, you ain't got time to play with no grown man. Nigga, we don't rap beef where we from. Nigga, we get money and we raising kids, man. Beef get you killed from in the real streets. That's why I know niggas ain't street for real, because they want beef too easy. Uh, Grown man gonna call you, fam. Let's meet up at Whataburger. We finna get us some burgers and talk this shit out. These niggas trying to see us dead. Tripe shit. These niggas, I'm gonna get a Draco. I'm gonna go get my young nigga. So you wanna go get somebody that's young that don't know the value of life and so kill them off. Kill. That ain't OG shit. OG? Mm. Scarface made a song called Damn It Feel Good to Be a Gangster. Niggas, they, they need to go listen to that bitch. That's being a gangster song. don't talk to egg hard. Shout out to Scarface too. Gangster man. motherfucker handle his business. These niggas now, they put on some gold and think that's gangster. Nigga take your life, let you keep your chain, your car, all that shit, then what? So to you, what defies an OG? Or to both of y'all? Your name is OG Money Lou, so what defies OG to both to, of y'all? To me, what defines an OG is a person who you know they live wrong, but through trial and error, they learn how to do it right. Not doing the same shit they was doing 10 years ago. Hmm. Not just that, actually get money, and when you got it, instead of stunning, throwing money on these little young chicks in the club that you watch grow up, Get some money and get your young people and get them out of the hood. OGs ain't a nigga who lock you in the trap with no door and no key until the laws come. Nah, for real. He's feeding you $50 for work. You telling all his dope making him rich and you only get $50. And he talk shit to you like you ain't the boss. You really the boss. He really the worker. Uh, so go get the pay. Uh, OG not trying to keep you in the trap. He ain't trying to put you, you know, in the trap. He gonna you know put you in the studio. In Atlanta, them niggas putting each other in the studio, yeah. my nigga. They all 50 at the game over. Them niggas ain't 50 right in Atlanta. Even even if that, bro, you don't want you don't want to see no young niggas out here in the street, bro. Not I done dead. put a, I done put a lot of niggas my age, older than me, big homies. I done put a lot of niggas on jobs because they didn't want to be in the streets, feelings and shit. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Go throw your nigga an application, nigga. What 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 a nigga gonna tell you about that? You you putting a nigga on some money. You know what I'm saying? These niggas out here. They'll take your money, man. Ain't, they'll take your money, bro. Yeah. Your young nigga. The nigga that don't, like he said, got no value to life. He don't know. He just wanna look up to 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 a nigga that he just he he see in the streets like a I could be calling me an OG. Yeah, and he want to ride for and him. Now, and nowadays, niggas taking that, he look up to me shit and doing it against people. Yeah. Taking advantage really, of that you shit. You don't do that, bro. People, <laughs> anybody that fuck with you at heart really fuck with you. Nah, and it me. ain't too many people fucking with folks at heart. And after you kill that off, you get killed, bro. That's why so many people dead. Because they fuck up their real love and got to fuck with niggas that fake like they like them. What? And it's the shit you got, it's magnetic force, bro, that bring people in your world. Come on, Nine man. times out of ten, if it ain't who you is as a person, it's your material. Well, my people don't understand that, like, it's like we in a, in a selfish world, like, but see, we used to grow up. Like, the most of the struggles, so, where you, you, when you really supposed to give me some paper, I replaced it with that ride you gave me down the street. So I don't even want the money, you just gave me a ride, nigga, so many left me walking. Type shit. A motherfucking hungry dog, you can give him a scrap of bones and he gonna be at your porch and a bite a nigga for you. Give a nigga something, he gonna forget. Cause he's small. All the hood niggas dead or in jail, it's the suburban niggas bleeding over and they making this shit be what it ain't. Mm -hmm. Niggas saying, I watch niggas say they gotta get their mama another house and she already got one house. Bitch, my mama still don't got a house. She stay with her mama. Who stay in her mama old house after she died? Nigga, we gotta die to get shit passed down for real. Ain't no 401k in the hood, 2k in the hood, nigga. K2 in the hood, nigga. Nah, <laughs> on nah. my mama. In real life, niggas ain't getting that. Niggas missing the message. Niggas ain't getting 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 the message. Ni
Niggas is lying. Bad. Niggas is looking at life from their point of view, from their life's labor window, and they rapping about it. Bitch, I'm looking at this shit from real, real. And it's all over there. There's not one neighborhood everywhere fucked up, fam. Mm -hmm. We was running to go to the suburbs to live better. Now they fucking that up. So Black people built up their own neighborhoods, bro. We got, we destroy them now. So don't you, do you believe that it takes a village to raise one? Yeah, they do. And people lying to each other for cash rent gains. For me to be the boss of the company, I got to be able to be a whole ass nigga. And if you ever correct me on it, I will fire you. Kyle Powell. So what's the difference in being a boss or a power and then being a leader? A boss is a person who tells you to do it. A leader is a person who sacrifices himself. A person who step out on the ledge and do it first. And you ain't got no choice so do you, but do it. Do you feel that them words get misconstrued? Yeah, it is. It's too different. Like the word humble. That's where people who didn't finish school and don't know the definition of words or the root word or where it stem from, they take it and make their own definition of it and get mad because you want to live in the world of what they believe. Think about how many people we know that dropped that fuck school. They trying to be smart now. Them the enlightened ones. First motherfucker with some gems to drop on you be a dropout. Telling you the word humble mean to... Nah, what do humble mean in the nigga term? No, I keep going. I mean, to me, humble. To, see what you're saying? To me. Nigga, to the definition that's in the dictionary. By textbook definition. Yes, t that's the definition that will get you wrong in your indictment papers in court. The shit that people right. shot from right. is what you should know. That's what saved your life. Right. That's why niggas get 99, oh. 79. It's because you don't. I was humble. Oh, you was depressed. Yeah, he got a problem. Oh, okay. That's why he shot him. That makes sense. Kendrick Lamar said, be humble, sit down. Okay. Now, what part of the video did he sit oh, down in? Right. He was all over the place in that video. Uh -huh. In uh -huh. white, you know, everybody else had on black, but they head down. Okay. So Now, you know, once you get signed to a label, while people chase labels, you no longer have anything to do with yourself no more. That means you can take me and give me a certain amount of money and you can take what I know for sure and make it erase. And now you can tell me what you want me to say. People getting told the content to rap about. It. They getting told the day they need to release it on. They getting told the name. They even getting their music taken. When you don't own your music no more, you're not controlling your own voice anymore. They say be the voice and people not being the voice, they getting their voice taken. And they just, they, they, Getting that shit confused with their name, making it on magazines and the front of the covers. See, people people that never had nothing, we don't want to be on covers and shit. We don't give a fuck. Hear me, we, we wanted to look at it on the, say we signed. We don't care about the money, but nigga, I care about the money. Yeah. I ain't getting this shit to be a broke rapper. Tell me I'm with Interscope, with this scope, with that scope. Nah, nigga. I'm with Interscope. If I'm with y'all, I'm going to be making my money the right way, too. I ain't finna sign to no local label and they can't get me past where I already been myself. And in the world where we don't where the digital age spark, you feel like do you need a label still? Like you have your no, you know, you your, you you have your business you, independent. You have to be the label. You gotta be the label. If you waiting on somebody, you're not a hustler. Once again, you have to be a hustler. Just cause you go to college and get a degree don't mean you're a hustler. Many get it if you survive off of it. I know a bunch of people in the college got degrees and shit. They was still at home trying to figure out what the fuck they're going to do with their life. And that's life, bro. That's what life for degree? everybody. It's NFL players after they finish with the football, they try to go back to it because they don't have a plan after that. Yeah, it's like niggas broke. playing with one plan and stop playing it. Like, nigga, you got a lifetime ahead of you. You got to plan. You got to keep doing stuff. You can't file back five years and hate on him. Oh, this be be Lou, that nigga, oh, that nigga rapping, man. I'm gonna hate on him. Nigga, five years to pass by, you ain't dropped another mixtape. He got 10 now. That's why he up over you. It don't matter if it's digital or analog, man. I was recording music on that to that and real to reals, bro. Back when in the days when you had to put it on mixing boards and channel all your music in. 
when, people, when producers really had to play their keys and you had to go track for track and record each sound in. And you know how to know melodies. Boy, you took it back. Yeah, bro, they didn't grow up like that. So why the hell are you trying to make it hard for another person to do their music? And you still get money. You got your back end money and then you got the money from the front. So if you charge me 400 exclusive for a beat, nigga, I don't owe you shit on the back end. You just sold me that. For four hundred dollars, nigga, quit settling. Hustle. When you hustle, you don't need four hundred dollars. I don't need you to pay me for that feature I just did. But if I wasn't hustling, if I was stealing and doing some lame ass shit, I would need that money, my nigga, or we wouldn't do a song. Cause I invested too much money in my shit. I got t-shirts for sale. You can get a CD. You can get my last CD. You can go on the internet and buy some shit from me. I can build you a website. I ain't just a rapper. I'm a DJ. I can put you on a project. I don't want your money. I know the whole industry and the business. Niggas might not think I blew up to them, but I blew up to myself because I ain't where I used to be. When niggas understand self and where you used to be, you don't give a fuck about nobody else talking. Because niggas still where they used to be. Think about how many people got Facebook page. They watch you go live, but when they gonna go live? Reality's fucked up. Boy, that don't make no sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real, no. <laughs> Dude, we're really talking to him. This is a session, man. This is what you're supposed to talk about doing you know the lunch break session. Yeah. Not fake ass shit, not your rolling price. Fuck your rolling if your mama still go to work on Monday, fam. Exactly. Man, Niggas really... got family milk. Niggas say they rich, but they family still touchable. You can't go get Obama family, fam. They untouchable. Money made back, untouchable. I read an article, this man said he gave his mama a business so she wouldn't have to ask him for nothing. She haven't asked me for nothing in two or three years, fam. That's unfucking your people, fam. Not hindering them by giving. So as far as for the music, man, like, don't you think moving forward, like, for the whole point to use this music as a stepping stone to get people out? Yeah, I'm doing, that's what I'm doing. I'm putting my message in music. And not just in music, I'm living this shit. I'm living this shit. I'm waking up every day. I'm fucking with people who got more than me, got less than me. Either way it go, you hear me. Fuck with me. That's real. Niggas judging their friends out pockets and chains. That's really like what a bitch supposed to do.